Hey guys, Cat here, coming at you with a different type of video. This is a mod showcase and release video, and the mod I'm showcasing and releasing today is the Skyward Stats mod. And the thing about this mod it, is that it was developed by me. Yes, Cad can code. It's alliteration, I swear. The Basically what this mod does is that it displays your Skyward Stats, such as your total kills or wins, uh, on your screen as well as you know other things like souls or your level progress and all of this is customizable so it can match your liking so the download link for this for this mod is down in the description below it's for forge 1.8.9 once you have downloaded and installed the mod here is how you set it up you first want to type in the command skywars mod this will open up the gui for the mod to begin toggle on the mod now Initially, the values for the default fields will be zero. Uh, this mod only works if you have a high pixel API key. To get a high pixel API key if you don't have one, simply type in the command API new on high pixel and it will give you an API key. You then can copy and paste that key into the high pixel API key field on the bottom of the config menu. Now, you shouldn't share your key with anyone. I am fine with showing part of my key. The whole thing is 32 characters. So brute forcing the rest of it would take a long, long time. However, if you are a streamer and you just want to be better safe than sorry, you can simply hide the key. Once you have inputted a valid API key, your stats should appear in the right uh, by default. As long as the key is valid, your mod is toggled on, as well as you being in a Star Wars lobby or a Star Wars game. The, this mod will only display your stats if you are in a Star Wars lobby or in a Star Wars game for your own convenience. Now we will run through the rest of the options. Now stats by mode, basically instead of displaying your overall kills and wins, it will display your kills and wins for the current game mode you are playing. So for sol if you're in a solo normal game, it will display your solo normal wins and kills. Decimal places configures how many decimal places you want the KD and win loss ratio to be. Bold labels makes the field titles bold. And you can also change the color of those field titles by adjusting the label color slider. I personally like red and white. It looks pretty dope. Now, Color changes the color of the text itself, and you just have to experiment and find which color you like. And if you want the field titles to match with the color of the text, simply set your label color to negative one. Furthermore, we have progress bar size, which changes the size of the Skywars level progress bar, as well as progress bar color. These colors match with label colors, so if, uh, so if you want red, just put 4. The thing about these two options is that it will take up to 15 seconds to take effect. Furthermore, we have X and Y position. This is pretty self-explanatory. This is how you adjust the position of the uh, overlay. However, if you do increase your scale size, the thing might start going off screen and you will have to reduce your X and Y to compensate. On the right side of the screen, we have your overlay configuration. This is where you actually uh, choose the things you want to be displayed, such as kills, wins, session kills, session wins, win streak, all that jazz. So you can click to have everything on, which I do not recommend. I usually just play with uh, win kills, wins, session kills, session wins, and progress bar but again this is a customizable mod and it's all up to you for what you want what you want to have displayed you can also toggle off a kd and win loss so that's also up to you once you have configured everything to your liking simply click save and your settings will be saved session kills and session wins track the amount of kills and wins you get in a session. A session is defined by the user itself and can be reset at any time. And the session stats are saved even after a user logs off or their game crashes. 
So if you want to reset your session kills and wins, simply press the reset session button in the config menu and you will have a chat message that will say statistics will reset within the next 15 seconds, which you will see on the top right of the screen, just like that. Alright, just jumped into a Star Wars game so I can talk about this mod a little bit more even though like half of you probably already clicked off this video. So basically how this mod works is that uh, it fetches your stats from the Hypixel public API using your API key and then updates your stats accordingly and this process occurs every 15 seconds so your stats are pretty up to date. However, due to the nature of the API, the stats of a Star Wars game aren't actually updated till the... Uh, the physical game is over meaning that if you died early in a Star Wars game your stats for that game won't actually like get updated till uh, the game ends meaning someone else won that game or the game tied all right so the reason I developed this mod first uh, I was in initially just uh, something I wanted to do for myself because I wanted to I always wanted to see my KD and stuff in game and like track it so I'm like, you know what? I know Java. Uh, I've been doing Java for two years. I've been coding for three years and I developed uh, a couple of things. I even developed a Discord bot, believe it or not. And if you want, if you guys want to check it out, uh, it's, it's linked down in the description below. It's called Prometheus, it has over 125 commands. And uh, yeah, I developed that with my friends. It's a pretty, there's a lot of unique commands, so you should try that out. Uh, so, you know, I was like, you know what? Okay, this this dude is this dude's good. I can't really commentate and talk at the same time. All right, we need to get out of here. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use my Java skills to uh, find a solution for my problem or for what I want, basically. And yeah, I made a mod, and then I showed it on Twitter. I was like, hey, check this out, and people seem to like the idea. And like some people actually started DMing me for the mod. I was like, you know what? Hey, people like this idea, so I decided to go full out in developing it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna bow spam you at this point because you're really annoying. Okay, <laughs> I said okay like 20 billion times. All right, so I know a lot of you probably like don't play Sky Wars or you play Bed Wars, grind Bed Wars, and you would like to see this mod for Bed Wars. Here's the deal I'll make. If this video can receive 500 likes and if there's a lot of demand in the comment section for this being for Bed Wars or some other game mode, I will expand this mod towards Bed Wars and other game modes if yeah, if we can hit 500 likes and there's... Uh, just comment down below. Alright, let's 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 chip this guy off. There we go. Strength. Where's the other guys? Yeah, so uh, the intended use of this mod, it's to be all in all honesty, I think it's only it's mainly geared toward people who care about their Skyward stats or take it seriously. Uh, so you can actually like, you know, track your progress. This is a, this is a pretty good mod for just tracking your uh, tracking your progress while grinding Sky Wars. Because you can see your KD and stuff change in game, and you can see if you're, you know, doing good or bad. Right now, I'm <laughs> my KD is pretty trash. Uh, using the session kills thing. All right, let's get this kill. And oh, there wasn't anyone behind you. Did I just drop a prop four? Oh uh, yes, I did. This one was probably a proj prot. Oh, they were both. Okay, I'm, I'm just being dumb. All right, final kill. Let's get it. All right. That's all good. All right. So that's it, guys. Uh, you know, try out this mod for yourself. If you have any suggestions, feedback, just leave them down in the comment section below. Consider liking and subscribing. Uh, yeah, I put a lot of work into this mod. But however, if you do, get, if you guys encounter any problems, feel free to let me know. I will certainly try my best. To fix them, just DM me on Discord, Twitter, or just join my Discord. And um, yeah, that's that. So thanks, thanks guys for watching. Peace out.